stocking up for a long, hard winter, and revealing some of our biggest preps to date. Hey guys, it's Jara with Wicked Prepared. Welcome to our channel, everyone. We've had a lot of new subscribers join us lately, so if you're new here, we welcome you. We're so glad you're here with us, and to those of you who have been with us for a while, thank you. We love you guys. Today I'm sharing another prepper pantry haul. We are always adding to our preps. Sometimes it's a lot, and sometimes it's a little, but we never stop. Mother Nature has definitely given us some big reminders in the last couple of weeks of why we do this why preparedness is so important. We've seen some wicked winter weather in a lot of places. Look at this, over 50 people dead as record storm batters the US. Bodies found in cars, in snow banks. When it comes to storms, we always tend to think about hurricanes and tornadoes, but severe winter storms are no joke, my friends. Make sure you're prepared, please. Be prepared in your home with everything you need to shelter in place so you don't have to leave the shelter of your home during a storm. Be prepared to keep yourself and your family fed if you lose power. Be prepared to keep yourselves warm if you lose your heat. We'll have a video on this coming up very soon, so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and that you have your notification bell turned on. Be as prepared as possible to handle medical emergencies in your home in case emergency services are unable to reach you. And because sometimes it's inevitable and you do have to leave your home, please make sure that you have an emergency kit in your car that includes some of those same things to keep you fed, to keep you hydrated, and to keep you warm, basically to keep you from freezing to death if you find yourself stranded in your vehicle. And if you're running your vehicle during a snowstorm for any reason, either you're stranded in your vehicle or you've just gotten in your vehicle and started it up to keep warm or charge your devices, please make sure the exhaust pipe stays clear of snow as the snow builds up. Snow or anything else that could block your exhaust because that will cause carbon monoxide to back up into your vehicle and it will kill you. So always keep that in mind and make sure that you teach your kids, your grandkids, whatever young people in your life that you care about as they get to driving age, they get their license, make sure that they know this as well. Here in Maine, we've had two big storms come through the weekend before Christmas and then one on Christmas weekend. The first storm was heavy, wet snow, and we did lose our power at our house, which actually is pretty rare. We woke up to no power, but we knew it wouldn't last long, and it didn't. It was out for less than 12 hours. We are fortunate enough to be on the same line as a nursing home that's right up the road from us, so our power is always one of the first to be restored. We did, however, have plenty of folks we know right in our area who were without power for several days. But even knowing that our power most likely wouldn't be out for long, we were still so thankful to have our emergency meal kits, our meals in a jar, because of course, when the power's out, you don't wanna open your fridge up or your freezer, which is where all of the typical foods that we would use to make breakfast are kept. So it was very nice to be able to just grab a bag off the shelf and have everything right there to make breakfast without having to get into the fridge. I only started putting together breakfast meal kits and jar meals recently, but I'm so glad that I did. We actually probably ate better that morning than we would have had the power been on. The next storm right before Christmas was a lot of heavy winds and rain. It did bring a lot of trees down and a lot of power outages in the area as well. But our power stayed on this time. This storm did flood our backyard though, and then it subsequently froze and effectively turned our whole backyard into an ice skating rink, which our kids have been loving. You can see that area in the bottom left with the gate and the fence, that's actually our garden. It's all underwater right now. So let us know down in the comments if you saw any of these storms come through your area and how you fared through them. And in the meantime, I'll show you everything that we added to our preps this week. Make sure to stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna show you some of the biggest and most exciting additions ever to our preps. All right, so here's just a quick overview of everything that we added to our preps this week or most everything, because like I said, there's a couple of really big exciting items that just wouldn't fit on my kitchen counter. I'm gonna start right over here with all my Amazon stuff. Um, first, I got this big giant thing of pumpkin pie spice. This is 16 ounces. Now at the grocery store, you always see this little teeny one ounce container for almost $5, which is crazy. And then they do have the Walmart brand sometimes, two ounces for $2, but this was less than $10 for 16 ounces. So this was a much better deal. Now pumpkin pie spice is just a blend of, you know, a few different spices, so you could totally mix up your own, but to me, why not just have one mixture, just scoop out of one container, it's gonna save you some time. And then the next thing I got from Amazon right here, this is a 
an energy watt meter. Now these can be really good for seeing how much energy the items in your home use and you actually can use these to kind of cut down on your electric bill because you can see what um, appliances are, are drawing energy when they're not in use or when they're turned off and things like that, where your big energy draws come from. Sometimes you can actually borrow a device like this from your public library, but they're not very expensive. So we thought we would grab um, one. This is an off brand and we also have a name brand coming. So we're gonna compare the two of them. And when it comes to prepping, something that this is really handy for is determining how much energy um, appliances draw. So you can determine like what size of a generator you need or which appliances you could run off of a generator that you already have. Next we've got a few medical items. This is just magnesium. This is a really um, important mineral for our bodies and I did some research and found that this is one of the best types of magnesium to take. It has two different types of magnesium that your body can absorb really well. It's really good for so many things. It's good for your heart. It's good for all sorts of things. It's just an important mineral. Definitely want to keep supplements on hand in case our diet gets um, a little bit worse than we would like it to be. And these are just some more of these trauma pads. They're just thick gauze pads. They're very inexpensive. I throw them in my subscribe and save occasionally if I need an extra item to get the top discount with five items. And I did realize recently that I wanted to have some more things like this in my trauma kit. I wanted to have some more um, things for just like absorbing bleeding. If you come across an accident, I thought that was one of the most you know, useful items you would probably need in a lot of situations. And then a few of these are pet items. This is, um, it's called Cap Action, but it's basically a different brand of Cap Star. It's a little bit less expensive. We have um, two boxes of the cat and small dog and one box of the larger dog because we have mostly cats and small dogs in our house. But this is a flea treatment that it's a pill you give them and it kills every flea on them really quickly within like an hour. So it's not a long lasting treatment you would need to also use you know, a long lasting treatment. We use the Advantage and Advantix um, options, but this is something that's good to have um, if you need to take care of an infestation or something. We did have a couple of new cats come into our home recently that we took in from people who were either unable or unwilling to care for them. And so we had to do some treatment to make sure that we didn't spread anything through our home. So I decided to restock our pet um, medicine cabinet because you definitely wanna have, you know, some emergency supplies for your pets as well. And this is just a cat um, pill popper. It's like to help get the pills down their throat. Um, this is another addition to our pet medicine supplies. Now this right here is a four pack of sugar-free coffee flavoring syrups. This one is the eggnog flavor. I don't sweeten my coffee, but what I use these for is I love eggnog at the holidays and I try not to drink a lot of sugar, so I'm definitely not gonna drink that much real eggnog. So I use these syrups along with some almond milk to make myself a lower sugar, lower carb eggnog beverage. Now I'm not gonna be drinking that anymore because the holidays are over, but I still wanted to stock up on some more of these. I'll put them away down cellar. They will be fine um, next year because I was using some this year that were from last year. And this way, if they become hard to find or impossible to find, or if the price goes way up, I'll know that I have some. Now this is a bag of towel tablets. Now these are so cool. If you guys have never seen these before, they're like a little compressed tablet. And if you put it into water, it starts to open up into a large, um, I guess you'd call it a towelette or a wipey. And these are really great to have. These particular ones are individually wrapped. I have both. I have some that are not individually wrapped and some that are. So the ones I have that aren't individually wrapped have their own little tube that you can carry them in. But this is great if you just wanna stick one or two in somewhere in your vehicle, in your bug out bag. These are really great for any place that you need to have um, some supplies, some emerg emergency supplies, but you need to be mindful of the weight or the bulk of the items. So this is just a restock of some of these. The next thing I got from Amazon is this big bag of cream of tartar. This is a big 30 ounce bag. So a cream of tartar is another one of those things that if you get it at the grocery store, at least the grocery stores where I am, you're gonna pay a lot of money for a very small package. Now typically I've only used cream of tartar for things like snickerdoodle cookies. There's biscuit recipes that use cream of tartar. I don't use it for a whole lot, but I recently found a new use for it. And supposedly you can put a couple teaspoons of cream of tartar in the water in your pressure canner and it will clear up all that discoloration that you might have in the bottom of your canner. I know mine does. 
I haven't gotten a chance to try this yet, but a lot of people say that it works and I'm really excited to try it. But while I was reading about that, I found a lot of other uses for cream of tartar, medical type of uses. Supposedly it's really good for migraines and headaches if you put just a tiny pinch under your tongue. It can be good for blood pressure. It can be good for urinary tract infections. It can help people quit smoking, supposedly. Part of the reason is that part of its chemical makeup is magnesium, so it has some magnesium in it, just like that supplement that I showed you. But I'm definitely gonna do a lot of more research into the different uses for cream of tartar, but I definitely got this to use in my canner, and I'll let you know how that goes. And the last thing that I got from Amazon is this case of, this is a dozen cans of basically these Vienna Bites. We like these Vienna Bites. This is a protein source that you can just eat right out of the can. It might not be the healthiest thing, but it's it's a snack that my kids enjoy. I like that the Bites is a bigger can and they're cut into smaller pieces, so it's easier to share between multiple kids or multiple people. I started buying these from Amazon on Subscribe and Save when I realized that it was cheaper by the case from Amazon than buying them from Dollar Tree. But the price has been going up and up recently, and I just checked the price right before filming, and the price has gone up ridiculously on these, so I would not purchase these at that price but I did notice that the chicken variety on the same listing was a really good price it was less than ten dollars if you use subscribe and save for a 12 pack so we don't need more of these right now because we've got a pretty good stockpile but if I were gonna buy more right now I would definitely buy the chicken variety now next I've got my order from Thrive Life, my latest order from Thrive Life. Now for those of you who don't know what Thrive Life is, this is where we get the majority or most or all of our freeze dried food and some other things. They're the number one company for freeze dried food as far as quality goes. Everything is sealed in cans, so most items have a 25 year shelf life, which is amazing. Their quality is amazing. They really do a good job with the freeze dried food. The first thing that I got though are some of these sauces um, that Thrive Life makes. Now these don't have the same shelf life as the single ingredient foods. This is a bouillon, this is their beef bouillon. And I got this because I have not had a chance to try their beef bouillon. They're, they have beef and chicken and they're both vegetarian, but I have the chicken and it's surprising because even though it's vegetarian, it tastes very much like chicken, it's really delicious. I do have some beef bouillon, um, open right now it's a nor beef bouillon but the ingredients in this one are just so much better than the ingredients in the nor if you read the ingredients in that stuff it's a little bit scary and I wanted to grab this while I had the chance because sometimes these things sell out so I got a um, tub of the beef bouillon to try and then I got some of the sauces now the bouillon has a five-year shelf life and the sauces have a 10-year shelf life we love their sauces. The two that I got right now are their cheese sauce and their tomato sauce, which is basically like a spaghetti sauce powder. Now the cheese sauce is a limited time item. It's not always available. So I did grab four of those to make sure that I will not run out because it's sometimes could be available only once a year. And we love their sauces because they blend up really beautifully. They don't clump. They are gluten free if anyone has to worry about that. I use them a ton in my meals in a jar where I need all dry ingredients. They go right in and they blend up into a beautiful sauce and they really pull the ingredients together and make a meal out of it. And then the next things that I got from Thrive Life, these are pantry cans, which are all like a quart size can. And then these are their family cans, which are gallon size cans. So everything else that I got is in the gallon size cans. I got only one vegetable this time and this is zucchini. And then the rest of what I got are proteins. So I got a can of the shrimp. This is something that they've discontinued, but they still have had it in stock. I didn't check today, but every time I've ordered, they've had it in stock. So I try to order one whenever I can because I'm really sad about when they won't have that anymore. It's really good. I got two cans of the chicken slices because that's our favorite chicken. These are really good. They're seasoned, so they do have some salt added. They're a nice size slice. They're very tasty. If you've never tried freeze dried meats, the quality, the taste, the texture and everything is quite a bit different than canned. It's gonna be better than canned meats. Most people like freeze dried better than canned when it comes to meats. And then the last two um, cans of protein that I got are a pulled pork, which we really like, and then the diced beef. The diced beef is really great for things like beef stew and things like that. And I'm gonna be putting together some beef stew jar meals. So I got some more diced beef. We will have a link down in the comments for anyone who wants to check out Thrive Life because we've had a lot of questions, people asking where they can get freeze dried food because it's not readily available locally for a lot of people. And they also have a great refer a friend program. If you want to earn some free credit and get some food for free, you can check that out. Now the next item that I got, um, this one is from Mother Earth Products. These are instant beans. 
I love getting instant beans from Mother Earth products because they have a huge variety of instant beans. They have the biggest variety that I've ever seen anywhere. Thrive Life does have some instant beans, but they usually only have two or three varieties. The one thing with Mother Earth is that they come packaged up in these kind of containers rather than cans. These don't have the shelf life that a can would have, but you can also get the Mother Earth products in packaged in Mylar bags. Doesn't look as pretty, but it has a longer shelf life. The great thing about instant beans is that they've been pre-cooked and then dehydrated. So they're basically only need to be rehydrated. So they don't need that long cooking time that regular dry beans have, which can be really important if you're in an emergency and you are using your emergency fuel or Maybe you only have power for a short time if you're having rolling blackouts. It's just really important to be able to cook quickly. So this is along the lines of like um, minute rice, instant rice that's been cooked and dehydrated. So it really just needs to soak in hot water. These cook up super, super fast. I will put a recipe um, up in the cards up above where I use these instant beans if you wanna check out um, how quickly they cook up. And we'll also have a link to the Mother Earth website down in the description if you wanna check out what they have. They also have um, freeze dried foods, dehydrated foods. They just came out with a brand new product Product, which is a um, hummus powder a powdered hummus and those kind of things are really great to have for preparedness if you just add some water and maybe a little bit of oil but I also like to have them for if you only need to have a little bit at a time like you just want a small serving of hummus and you're not going to eat a whole container of it maybe you're the only one in your household who likes it it's really handy to have those dehydrated mixes to just mix up just a little bit at a time now these items here are my Azure standard order for the month if you've never checked out Azure Standard, definitely go check them out. I'll have a link for them as well down in the comments. They're kind of like a big giant online natural food store co-op. It's really an interesting company. It's a great company. It's a very interesting shopping experience. I do have a video all about um, how the company works and how ordering from them works. If you want to check that out, I'll link that down below in the description box. This month, I only got a few things from Azure. So the first thing I got from Azure was this big bottle of vanilla extract. This is a 16 ounce bottle and this only cost, I think $13, around $13. Now I typically buy my vanilla um, in this bottle from our warehouse club and I wanna say this is around $30, that's very expensive. So I thought I would try this one and I did copy down um, some things that I found on their website about this vanilla because it's called fourfold vanilla extract. It says pure vanilla extract. It's not one of those artificial vanilla flavorings. But what it says about this is it says, we use only the finest, most flavorful vanilla beans and a cold extraction process to produce an aromatic vanilla that is a favorite of pastry chefs around the world. That sounds pretty impressive. This Azure Market concentrated vanilla contains less than 4% of naturally occurring alcohol. Vanilla extracts often contain as much as 30% alcohol. That means you'll use less vanilla because there's more flavor left in the final baked product. No coumarin additives or preservatives. Chefs throughout the world prefer fourfold Mexican vanilla. So I thought that was very interesting. Now, I definitely, I know there's a lot of alcohol in vanilla extract. In the past, I've made my own vanilla extract, and you literally are soaking vanilla beans in alcohol. So um, I haven't been making my own vanilla extract for a while. I may go back to that at some point, but for now, I've been purchasing it. But I thought that sounded really good. This is much less expensive, and supposedly you can use less. So I wanted to give this a try. And then the next thing I got was a couple of different packages of wild rice. Now I have never bought plain wild rice before. I've always just bought the, you know, white and wild rice pilaf mixes like the Uncle Ben's or whatever. I found out some more interesting stuff on the Azure site. Wild rice is not actually a true rice. It's just the seed of a tall blooming water grass. It's the only cereal grain native to North American continent. And it was a staple food of several Native American tribes. It's very nutritious. It contains more than 12% protein uncooked, significantly more than regular white rice and most other grains. And it says uncooked wild rice will keep almost indefinitely when stored in an airtight container. So all that makes it really great um, for emergency food storage for preparedness. I bought this because I've been wanting to put together some soup mixes in a jar and there was a wild rice and mushroom soup that sounded really good that I wanted to try. And I assumed it was going to use one of those boxed mixes, but it actually called for plain wild rice. So I, I shopped around and Azure Standard tends to be like one of the best, um, least expensive places for me to find things like this. And you don't have to buy in big bulk packages. You can buy big bulk packages and save a little more money. But where I was just trying this for the first time, I bought smaller packages. This is a two pound package of white of wild rice. And then this down here is a five pound package and it's broken pieces of wild rice. And this was only a few dollars more. 
for a five pound package as opposed to the two pound package. And it said that the broken pieces will actually cook up more quickly. And so I thought that could be really great. So I bought this to try, but I did also buy the small package of the regular, you know, unblemished wild rice, just in case we don't like this one. But Azure Standard is really a great place to shop. It's become one of my go-to places when I'm going to compare prices, when I'm going to look for items that I'm having a hard time finding elsewhere. So definitely check out their link um, down in the description box if you're not already familiar with this company. Now, everything over here is basically Walmart stuff. Um, I did get a few packets of seasoning mix, some taco seasoning mix. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I typically buy my taco seasoning in bulk packages because we do use a lot of it. But every once in a while, if I'm putting together a meal in a bag, an emergency meal kit like I talked about earlier, I just want a single package because I just don't want to measure out my bulk seasoning and have to put it into a separate bag or a separate container. It's easier to have a packet. And I recently put together a taco twist meal in a bag emergency meal kit. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out, I will put a card um, right up here at the top of the screen. So definitely check that out. But I needed some packets of taco mix, um, taco seasoning for that. So I did grab a few extra to make sure I have some on hand after I put together a few of those bag meals. And the other packet I got was some white chicken chili. I wanted to do a white chicken chili a meal in a jar. And I really thought that using a seasoning packet would probably be the easiest way to do that rather than figuring out all the seasonings on my own. And this one is not available in bulk. I get my regular chili seasoning in bulk, but the white chicken chili was not available in bulk. And then I did get four jars of sweet gherkin pickles. This is the kind of pickle my family really likes. I have a daughter who can sit down and eat one of these jars all by herself within like 24 hours. So I figured I should stock up on some more of these. And then I did find these little pickle packs that are the sweet gherkins. And I thought this would be handy to try. It's quite a bit more expensive to buy this than to buy these jars. But these can be handy for when you're packing snacks or when you're packing up, um, you know, emergency food to have in your car and things like that. So I just bought one of these to try. And then we did get a bunch of more granola bars. I know I've talked about this before. I'm always trying to stock up on snack foods, easy to grab snack foods, because that's one thing that I've always heard people say when they've been through any type of emergency situation. They always say they wish they had more snacks. And I found that to be true for myself. When we woke up with the power out the other morning, my first instinct was just to grab something to munch on, something that I could just eat without having to cook anything, without having to really open anything. And so... I did get a bunch more granola bars. We really like these sweet and salty ones. They have a lot of nuts. They're a good energy source. These are also great for packing um, emergency food for your car in bug out bags, anywhere that you want to have um, snacks that are going to give you energy in your 72-hour um, meal kits. We got several different flavors of these and a variety pack. I did grab this um, coconut cream granola bars because it was uh, marked down at save a lot and then we got this large 32 bar variety pack of the fruit and grain cereal bars because that's another one that my family likes and that could be a quick and easy breakfast also if you're putting together 72 hour meal kits and you want a breakfast food that can be an easy thing to include i did also grab um, a couple of these 12 packs of the applesauce pouches my kids like these a lot these are also really good um, if you want to have portable food to pack for any of those reasons that i mentioned before you don't need a spoon for them you just open them up, eat them right out of the pouch, and just throw it away. So we got a couple cases of those. And then these cereals, these Insta Bowls, I've showed you these once before. I've bought these once before. They're a single serving of cereal, but the interesting thing about these is that they have milk included. So it must be a powdered milk. You just add water to create cereal and milk. Now these were priced at $2 a piece, which honestly is more than I would like to pay for a single serving of cereal. That's more than I usually pay for a whole box of cereal. But I did try them um, a while back when I bought ahead a deal. I bought ahead a dollar off, so you got to try it for half price. So I tried a couple of them. And then my store put them on clearance for a dollar. And I still had the same. I bought a deal. It was, um, I think, save $2 when you buy two. So I ended up getting a bunch of these for free because the deal kept coming back, kept resetting. So I thought that was a really good deal. You can't beat free. And these would also be great for emergency meal kits and things like that because all you have to do is add water and you've got your cereal and milk. And then I grabbed a couple boxes of cornstarch. This is the great value cornstarch. It used to come in a round container with a plastic lid. So now it's coming in a box. I did not expect this. 
It's not much more expensive. Um, pretty recently I bought the name brand that came in a plastic canister with a lid, so and that's not much more expensive than these, so I figure I might just go back to buying those because I'm not sure about the box. I'm gonna have to probably repackage these. But I do use quite a bit of cornstarch. I use it thickening sauces all the time, and I also have used it in like a fried chicken coating and things like that. So we do use quite a bit, so I try to keep quite a bit of this on hand. These two packages of pastaroni is something brand new. I had seen it um, on my Ibotta app, but I couldn't find it in my Walmart. And when I happened to be in Save A Lot, I found a special display. It's the pasta heat and eat. It's already cooked and it already has the sauce on it, which I thought was really neat and really handy um, for emergency food storage because you want to have some things that you can just, it says heat and eat, but you theoretically could just eat it without heating if you needed to. It's a nice single serving of pasta. These would be great for individual 72 hour kits, anything like that. However, when I found them at Save A Lot, they were really, really expensive. Two for $6, $3 for one pouch with one serving of pasta. I only tried them because there was a coupon attached to the display. So I got a dollar off of two, which still made them $2.50 a piece, which I think is ridiculous for one serving of pasta, but I just wanted to try them and see how they are. We're just curious. If they're any good, then I might keep an eye out for them and see if I can get a better deal on them anywhere. But I haven't seen them anywhere else yet. So if you have these available in your local store, let me know. And let me know what the um, regular retail price is in a different grocery store. I wanna know if that's typical or if that's just a, a ridiculous save a lot price. I also got another jar of mayonnaise. This is just kind of replacing a jar that we use out of our stash. Um, we do keep quite a bit of mayonnaise. We go through a lot, especially in the summer. We go through more in the summer, but I try to make sure that we don't run low on that. And then this jar of chopped green chilies is just replacing a jar that we used out of our food storage. I used this in an emergency meal kit that I recently made. It was an enchilada soup. It was really good and it used a can of these diced green chilies. I'll probably end up getting some more of these and make up um, a few bags of that meal kit. But for now I just got one to replace the one that I used. And then I did get three more bottles of this lotion. This is my favorite lotion. I use this on my face. I use this on my hands constantly. I've got this basically in every room of the house and I go through quite a bit of it. So I try to keep a good, decent supply built up because if ever we're unable to get this kind of thing, I wanna make sure that we have enough to get us through for quite a while. It's this Equate Beauty, it's really inexpensive and it works great. Like I said, I even use this on my face. I don't use any kind of fancy, expensive creams. I just use this. Next up is all these canning jars. What's up with all the canning jars? Canning jars is one of those things that I always think I have plenty of and then we fill them up and I end up needing more. This is just one case of the regular mouth quartz. I really needed the wide mouth quartz. I was having a hard time finding them. I couldn't find them anywhere near me. I did grab a case of the regular mouth quartz and just in case I got desperate and I found those right at my Walmart. I also got these at Walmart. These are Golden Harvest jelly jars. They're just the half pint jelly jars. I actually really like the Golden Harvest brand. I've never had issues with them. They're a little bit less expensive than Ball and I find they tend to have less raised um, you know, designs on the glass. I try to get smooth jars when I can, but I can't always find those. The Golden Harvest are more smooth. I like to label my jars on the sides of the jar on the glass, so it's just easier if they're smoother. But these jelly jars, I needed some more jelly jars. I went on Walmart's website and I found um, these and I added a couple to my cart and they were only $7.36 for a case and I thought that seemed like a really good price, but I had not even checked out yet and I happened to be in the store and I went over and looked and they were quite a bit more on the shelf than they were um, on the website. So I ended up adding a couple more cases to my cart before I checked out. So I got four cases of those, we'll definitely use those. You can never have too many canning jars. And then these right here are five cases. These are the 12 ounce, um, three quarter pint, quilted crystal jars. This is one that I happen to have in my basement. I probably got it from my mother. You, this is it next to a regular um, half pint jelly jar. You can see that it's just a little bit taller. And these are very hard to find in this size. At least I have had a really hard time finding them. And I decided I really wanted some. So I did an online search and I ended up finding that one of our local hardware stores had them available. They didn't have them in their store, but I could order them for pickup a few days later. 
and they had a 30% off coupon for your first online order. I'd never placed an online order before. So I also found that they had the wide mouth quart jars. Now they were pretty expensive. They were $20 a case, which is a lot more than I would typically pay for them. But with that 30% off coupon, it came out to be right around the same price I would have paid at our Walmart if I could have found them at Walmart. So I did add these three cases of wide mouth quarts to my order along with the five cases of these three quarter pint um, jars. And so all told, I believe for all of those eight cases of canning jars, I paid, I paid under a hundred dollars for sure. And so I stocked up on as many as I could afford to do at the time because that's the only time I'm going to have access to that coupon. I didn't pay any shipping because I had them shipped right to the store. Just went and picked them up. It was completely painless. But I'm always looking for hard to find sizes of canning jars. Last year I was madly stocking up on these um, pint and a half, which is right in between a pint and a quart. And they, they had discontinued them. They had stopped making them. I wasn't able to get them. They brought them back and I started buying a case at least one case every time I saw them anywhere I could get my hands on them and I ended up with stacks and stacks of them and I began to think okay this is getting ridiculous you have a problem but now I can't find them anywhere and once again and so I'm really glad that I stocked up on all that I all that I did so hopefully um, five cases of these will be enough and of course the off season is a really great time to buy canning jars if you can find them because sometimes they're hard to find during the peak canning season but there's canning projects to be done all year round during the winter I would can a lot of meats and a lot of meals and things like that when there's not as much fresh produce and fruit to be had. Because even though it's considered the off season for canning there's still so many canning related projects to do whether it's making meals in a jar out of our freeze dried food or canning meats that we get on sale all sorts of things like that. All right, so I told you we have a few really big and really exciting preps that we've added to our supplies recently that are just too big to fit on my kitchen counter. So are you ready to see what they are? Well, we did it guys. We finally broke down and got ourselves a home freeze dryer. We got a Harvest Right Medium. This was our Christmas present to ourselves. It came a little bit early. Of course, it was a little bit too big to hide or to wrap up and put under the tree. That's actually it running in the background. If you can hear that noise um, for anyone who's been asking how loud it is, it's really not that bad. It did come with plenty of accessories. It came with a four pack of trays and the trays are really, really strong and heavy duty. Now we didn't pay any extra for the oil free pump, which just came with the Premier um, oil pump. It also came with some oil and this is a special pitcher for filtering the oil when you do have to do oil changes, which is not, not nearly as common as it used to be with the old pumps. It also came with a collection of Mylar bags, um, 50 Mylar bags, and also some oxygen absorbers. There's 50 oxygen absorbers also, and this is the right size for um, the size of bags that they send. And then it also came with an impulse sealer to seal the uh, Mylar bags, which is pretty awesome. So we have spent a little bit of time um, playing with it and learning how to use it, and we're really excited to show you guys everything that we've been able to do with it so far. But that will be a video coming up soon. So another thing that we've added to our preps lately that was a really big ticket item that I've been wanting for a while, I've had my eyes on for a while, was this e-bike. Now e-bikes are something that's not been on my radar for very long, but I guess that they're becoming pretty popular. A lot of people have been using them, especially where gas has been so expensive. They're more popular, I think, in big cities and things like that, but I've actually seen people using them around our small town and I was really intrigued and I started thinking of it as like a kind of a grid down um, type of solution for transportation. Now I gotta be honest, originally I was thinking of this as something that could be used in case of like an EMP or something like that if vehicles weren't working and a lot of things were not working. I've had a discussion with a friend of mine who was really concerned about what would happen if um, an EMP or something were to happen while she was at work and her daughter was at school and her family was separated and how would she get back to her daughter and get her daughter home. And we talked about the possibility of putting like a bicycle. She started keeping a bicycle um, on the back of her truck. And that got me thinking about e-bikes and, and if that would be a possibility. But, but honestly, after getting this, taking a look at it, I think it's gonna take some figuring out on our part to figure out how we can make this EMP proof if we can. But in any case, I think that if gasoline was not available, if gas stations were not working, this would be a perfect solution for us. We do have solar generators that we could use to keep it charged up. This bike, we were really impressed with this bike when it came. It's really, it's a beast. It's huge. It's an off-road bike. Um, it's, it's, it was really impressive. 
Mr. Wicked Prepared did get it put together and we played around with it a little bit um, down in our backyard. It kind of got me realizing I don't think I've ridden a bike in probably 30 years, but I guess it's true what they say you don't ever really forget because I was able to balance on it and make it go and I got a lot of good laughs out of that, but it's going to take some getting used to. Okay guys, that's everything that we've added to our preps this week. I want to thank you for watching today. We always appreciate it when you take some time out of your day to spend with us. If you're looking for some ideas and ways to put together some shelf stable meals to have ready for emergencies, check out our playlist that we have for emergency meal kits and meals in a jar. Make sure you check in with us by clicking that like button so that we know you were here. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave me a snowflake emoji down in the comments. I'm Jara with Wicked Prepared, survive today, thrive tomorrow. We'll see you next time.